Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Looks like we made... Oh. Oh, oh here we go. We get it. Yes. Oh, so... Oh, look... Oh, oh, don't put that hand down, you idiot! No! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2! But this time, it is the Dominion DLC Part 2, because finally the Malta DLC has been released to the public. And also, you know, sorry this is, um, like, late, late, because, well, when this was released, I was kind of busy doing a film shoot, so, yeah, kind of wasn't on my immediately to-do list. And also, even afterwards, I was extremely exhausted. 12 plus hour shoots are very tiring, as I'm pretty sure any film students or filmmakers who somehow are watching me right now will be able to agree with. It's very exhausting. But anyway, today we are in one of the new maps. I was actually going to set this up on Biosyn, but I decided, eh, whatever, I'll do it on this map. And this is one of three of the maps that come with the new Malta DLC, which is the second part of the Dominion DLC, which comes with all of the remaining dinosaurs from Dominion. Well, e except for one, which, sadly, guys, we don't have Microceratus, which, honestly, I have no idea why. That one was the one I was really looking forward to. I love its design, and it's so cute. And considering it's one of the only novel dinosaurs we don't have in the game, it's, uh, ooh, it makes me uh, real mad. So hopefully maybe for Christmas they'll give it to us for free, otherwise we have to revolt and shut this game down until we get little micro -Sharatus. Screw Leonard the Lystrosaur, screw the new Giga skins, screw the Atrociraptors, we want the micro -Sharatus. I'm just kidding, I love all those guys, but I still want micro -Sharatus. But, as you can see, we have plenty of new stuff, including new buildings and new um scenery decorations, as I've come over here. This like my little Malta street, which I just realized I didn't put this in the middle, and oh my god, OCD is screaming at me like I'm a murderer. Oh my god. Anyway, but we're not here for the free stuff entirely, because, well, that may be its own... Well, actually, no, we'll look at both of them, actually, because I already have them all set up. Today, this video will be all of the stuff, but first off, we are going to be looking at the new species first, starting with the one and only Atrociraptor, which I gotta say, it's kind of hilarious how, since the Domin first Dominion DLC, the Biosyn one, came out, everyone's been clamoring to have Atrociraptor, yet when Atrociraptor was first revealed and we got our full look at them in that um, little image, like, I think it was like almost two or two and a half years ago, good god. Jeez, I remember when I covered that on the channel, that... It's ages ago. I feel old, but everyone was, like, not really thrilled about it because it's like, oh, it just looks like the regular raptors with maybe a few changes, and yet now everyone's like, where's Atrociraptor? Let's get it! Well, Fred not, we have the Atrociraptor, and first, we're gonna show all four of them. I have five here because, well, this one is for, you know, all the f full hatching animation, like, with the whole batch. As you can see, there's one in these ones, and then six in here. But first, we're going to start off with the leader of the Atrociraptor squad, Ghost. Oh, look at all the little toke. Look at that thing. It's a nightmare, and it's awesome. It is Ghost the Atrociraptor, which, gotta say, looks rad as hell. Like, I love the... Personally, for me, the Atrociraptors are one of my favorite. I love how um, you how they look similar to the raptors, but they have their own uniqueness. Like the little scales that are on underneath their chin and on their heads, which this guy does have, thankfully. And oh, oh yeah. Oh, there's the zipline. Oh, there they go. They have no idea. Also, it's funny how the zipline, it actually, they're not strapped in like it is in Camp Cretaceous. So realistically, if say it decided to start raining on this island, or, like, bad weather came, it's very likely, if since it'll keep going, they, um, you know, will just suddenly fall, and, um, Ghost here will have a nice snack. But first, before we continue on Ghost, let's look at- oh, no, 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 that's later. First, let's look at the next one, which I believe is Tiger, am I right? Am I a smart little cookie? Ooh, the toe claws saying yes. And it is the Tiger, the second of the Atrociraptor squad. The one that hunted down Kayla Watson Claire and I think got paralyzed, possibly? I have no idea. Like, it's never 
so far it hasn't been confirmed if any of them are dead. Like, I know Colin Trevorrow recently, um, well, actually not recently, like a few months ago, mentioned that Ghost probably did survive, which I really hope so. I really want to see these guys in the future, but it's going to be interesting if we see Tiger again, because, like, that that hit to, by that pull from Claire, ooh, that has got to hurt. That had got to hurt, but it was an awesome thing. I guess the reason why most people were excited for these, actually, is probably because, for many, the Atrociraptor chase through Malta was the best part of the movie, which I gotta agree with. It was the best sequence of the whole because it was very different, yet also had that Jurassic tone that all of us love. And Tiger... Oh, 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 we're in a tree. And Tiger, the one of four Atrociraptors, which is the one that, obviously, due to its name, looks very much like the tiger-striped Velociraptor. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's the new anime. There's their unique animation, which I'm pretty sure is very similar to what animation they had in the movie. But, honestly, I... Uh, I don't know. I think Tiger might be... I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love all of them. Like, they're all, like, very unique and stuff, even though they have similar looks to the original raptors. But first, let's grab the next one, which I think is probably going to be Panthera? Maybe? Ooh, we'll get to see... Uh, ooh, another camera angle. Yep, it is Panthera, the one with the JP3 Quilliam stripe. Very nice. Yeah, I love how, like, even though they all are very similar at the core to the raptors, they, um... They each have their own uniqueness. Like, Tiger is obviously a pure Tiger Velociraptor. Panthera is sort of a mix between both the male Tiger Raptor and the um, male Quilliam Raptor from JP3. Because it's got the stripe from JP3, but the colors of the um, uh, uh, Tiger Raptor. Sorry, I lost the word. And for But the only one that does not really match with any of the other ones is red because this thing looks very very different like it does not scream tiger raptors does not scream jp3 raptors it's kind of its own which kind of surprised me i honestly thought that red should have been the alpha just because like unlike the other three red has like its own stance like i love the sort of bloody orangish red on it with this white pattern stripes it looks so like ugh, nightmare feel i love it but i'm surprised that it didn't have much to do in the movie in comparison to the other three three like it's the one that gets contained first but still love him and also it's oh he hey he made the call from when um ghost fell from the plane which Sad that that happened, but it was a nice reference to an abandoned idea from JP3, but whatever. But those are the Atrociraptors. We'll look at them later, and I'll release their other batch later. But first, we must go to the next species, which is not a dinosaur, but is the Lystrosaurus. It is before the dinosaurs, and look how cute he is. Oh, bless him. Oh, it's Leonard and it's the Leonard squad with his fuzzy eyebrows. Bless him. Although they are glitching out a little bit, which, fair enough, the game's still getting used to these guys. But look at them, they are so cute. I wonder if they'll get eaten by, um, oh my god, I think I have, um, oh, oh, no. They're, oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, oh, oh, two are dead. Uh, so, um, it seems to me that, apparently, well, there's the new animation, but Ghost and, um, Tiger just went for some of the Lystrosaurs. Oh, that's such a shame. They were like, oh, look at, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, we may be, where's the, uh, Lystrosaurs? Oh, he's, oh, he's in the water, no! Okay, hold on, let's get into capture mode. We'll, we're gonna lose the Lystrosaurs so quick. So it looked like he jumped in front and then, like, scared the bejesus out of Lystrosaurus, and then, like, grabbed his head. So, oh, there we go. And if we take it, oh, that's, if this were in the above water, oh, look at him. He's like, oh, for gosh sakes, why me? And he's like, hi, you're dead. So he jumps in front of him, sc scares the bejesus out of him, and, oh, oh, he knocks him over. 
steps on him, and then grabs his head. Oh, that, oh, look at that sinister eye. That, ugh, it's so creepy, but that is so awesome. I'm glad to see that these guys will have unique animations with each other. But also, I'm wondering, now, well, no, that's a bummer. He, he, he died. Uh, so how many do we have left? Oh, we have only three left. Let's let's take a look at this guy. He's the furthest away. Oh, for gosh sakes. Hold on, Tiger. Oh my god, Tiger and Ghost are just meanies. Oh, so scares him, steps on him, and then bites him. Oh my god, we're gonna lose all of the- all reds going for one, and boom. Uh, we have one. Run! Run! Le oh no. Leonard, no! No! Red! Why you don't have to do this? Please! Oh, that's a thumbnail. If only it weren't in fully shadow, I'll probably, you know, probably that will be the thumbnail or something. Something like that. Because look at those mountains. Look at that tree. Oh my god, this map rules. Even though it's quite small. But like, Leonard's like, oh for gosh sakes. I just got out. I was just born. Oh. Oh. Oh, run, Leonard, run, you can escape, no, oh, he tried, and was, ch well, guys, that was the Lystrosaurus, hope you had a good time, bye, uh, well, I'll probably release some more later, but, yeah, that was the Lystrosaurus, now, one thing that is sad to say, is unfortunately, there is no animation between Lystrosaurus and Oviraptor, which, if you've seen the extended cut, you know why it's such a disappointment, because that thing shocked the hell out of me. I was like, what the hell? I never thought we'd see that. But before we go on to the Oviraptor, let's go on to the Moros Intrepidus, the second smallest species in the entire game. Let's take a look. And he looks so fuzzy and so cute. This is a the latest addition to the Tyrannosaurid family in the Jurassic World Evolution 2 game. We have now T-Rex, Albertosaurus, um, Proceratosaurus, and Morris Intrepidus. I think there might be one slipping off my mind. Changesaurus, that's the one. Changesaurus, the Pinocchio Rex himself. We have all of them here which is just awesome and like this guy being a small one i wonder if he'll actually be able to like feed on the like teeth of the um larger carnivores i'll have to check but maybe it might be but i don't know but morris and treptus is totes at dobes and um so far nobody's hunting them which that's a surprise those triceratops were like lystrosaurs breakfast to oh wait nope here we go Ghost is volunteering herself to go for... Oh, look at that. In the bushes. Appears. And where is she? Oh, let's see. Oh, there's the Lystrosaurus. Let's see. So what does he do? Okay, so he sort of strikes at the... Oh, oh that is cool. He's like, Photoshop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so he grabs hold of him. Oh, slam. Throws him around. And... Oh, he eats him whole! Oh, no! Okay, let's just... Let's go through that as a whole with red. Oh, weaving bet between the trees. Ooh, I like that. They've lined up them a lot better. Ooh, grabs hold of him and swallows him whole. Which also... I like it. Wait, dead dinosaur? Where's the dead dinosaur? They don't count them as dead if they're swallowing. Hold on, did a Tyrannon get eaten or something? Or is there... Oh, no... Oh, it was a glitch, because for some reason it's doing Well, so we've seen the Lystrosaurus... Not Lystrosaurus, sorry, um... Uh... Morris and Treptus are already getting eaten, so we're probably just gonna move on to the next guys, which are the Oviraptors. One that I think is many people's favorite, because it is the first omnivore to enter the game, which, if I'm not mistaken, it can actually eat both in the game, which is awesome. And even in, like, its description, it's made clear, like, how even though its name means Egg Thief and stuff, it actually is misunderstood because Oviraptor can, in fact, eat both. Like, eggs are, like, a secondary, which, let's just see. What does it need? Forest, ground leaf, and meat. Oh my god, that is awesome. We, Oviraptor can eat them, but, oh, uh, who's dead? Someone just... Oh, it's the Morse and Trappist. They keep on getting eaten. But let's take a look at um these Oviraptors. How do you look? How do you feel? 
Oh, look at the way they walk. They're so bird-like. Yes, even though their um, feathers are sort of a little glitchy, it probably the game's just being like, oh my god, there's so many feathers, which feathers are a complicated thing in um, games nowadays. Like, I don't know why, especially on PS5, you think they'd be able to hold up, but Oviraptor looks so good. Like, the way it bobs its head and stuff, and it just screams, cute, big, deadly chicken. Well, it's actually not big, but I wonder if it can kill people, but who knows? We'll, we'll find out later, don't worry. But, if I'm not mistaken, that is all of the new species, and the rest I've got lined up are like to test out some of them, and then... But, f yeah, that's all the new dinosaurs. Still no Microceratus. <laughs> Very sad. But, first, 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 we have... Two Carnotaurus here, which one of them is a demon Carnotaurus because we finally have two of the dinosaurs that we have wanted since the first game. Well, for Carnotaurus, especially since there were two variants in Fallen Kingdom, we should have gotten this one. But I think this one, this is it. It is the demon. It is Coco. At last, the Dominion Carnotaurus. Oh yeah, look at that head, and look at these colors, and the broken horn, the scars. Yes, he is happy, and so am I. Coco is finally in the game. Forget about Tor or anything. This is the Carnotaurus I want to see. This thing rules, and uh, looks like um, I think he's going for something. Oh, oh, no, he's not going for something. He just stared down a poor oviraptor. Look at the size of him in comparison. Oh, my God. That's awesome. And he looks so freaking good. I love it. But if I'm not mistaken, the other one is Toro, which I want to grab just as a little comparison and just see. Yep, this is Toro. So this is the juvenile variant of the Carnotaurus. Yes. Now, one thing people don't really seem to realize is that- Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, Oviraptor's getting hunted by a Trociraptor. Oh, what's this? Oh, he grabs him, shakes him, and what does he do? Oh, he, he drops him. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. So it's the same animation as, um, Lystrosaurus, I believe, but the only difference is that, um, he, um, if I'm not mistaken, just drops him, and, uh, Looks like I'm another... Oh, Panthera. Oh, we haven't seen Panthera hunt anything yet, actually. So we'll just give it a little wait. Oh, he's waiting for the Oviraptor to just get into position. He's like, don't worry, I won't get you yet. Oh, but he bites him and thrashes him in the water. And hidden behind the trees, we don't see the gore. Oh, my goodness. But, yep. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, it's Toro. Oh, Toro is sizing up an Atrociraptor. It looks like it's Tiger. Nice. But, like, honestly, like, even though some people will probably get bored of this one just because it's the only one with a broken horn, which I would have liked if they had, like, two variants, one that wasn't scarred and had both of its horns. But, you know, I'll use this guy probably in every park I have a Carnotaurus because it is my favorite Carnotaurus design of all time. I love the blood red and the black. And in fact, some of you may have spotted this in some of my unboxings, but I actually painted my Toro figure to be like this guy. Except one thing that I've noticed that actually is incorrect with this model is the eyes. Because if you remember in Fallen Kingdom when we saw this guy, because the one in Dominion is the actual same one as, um, Fallen Kingdom, which I will do a video on, like, how did they capture him or something, but he should actually have green eyes, which is very interesting. I love them, no, no doubt, but I think it would have been nice to have those lime green eyes that we saw in Fallen Kingdom, because that would... Oh, wait, is he going for someone? Oh, he's scaring the hell out of that atrocity. <laughs> oh, he even has his movie growls. Nice. 
Hope we get all of them in here, but we've got to move on because there's still so many to do. So little time. How many do we have here lined up? Oh, we have three. That's not the right one. That's for later, like just at the end. No, not there. Where are you? Oh, I think this is it. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, this is... Oh, no, this is the juvenile variant of the... Oh, Atrociraptor's hunting another... So... Before we get on to the other Allosaurs, this is the Fallen Kingdom Juvenile Allosaurus. And a lot of people originally were not fans of this guy. And when Battle at Big Rock released, we got to see what an adult Allosaurus looked like. And it was insane. The roars were awesome. The, um... Oh wait, is he already going after someone? But... Oh, actually, is he smaller than... Okay, no, he's not. He was just crouched down, that's why. I was like, what the hell? But there is a new addition, something that we thought would have joined the Pseudoceratops in 2019 when it was also added to Battle at Big Rock and when it came in a free update for Evolution, I think in June, because, um, remember, um, due to, um, a sk due to not being completed, they took a little extra time and instead of releasing Battle of Big Rock with Hobbs and Shaw in theaters, they released it in September of the same year, but they needed a little more time to finish up working on it, which I think was definitely the right decision because it is one of my favorite parts. But here is the Allosaurus we have wanted since 2019, the Adult Allo. Oh yeah, look at this beast! Oh my god, it is awesome. I love it. And honestly, I think it is one of the best designs of a theropod in the entire Jurassic World um, trilogy. Like, like they've done some amazing designs like the Carnotaurus, but they've had a lot of like... A lot of people have criticized, like, the spikes added ne unnecessarily to dinosaurs, like for Giganotosaurus, the Tarbosaurus, and, um, other ones. And even this guy, but this guy, it fits him, because we saw them on, if we go to the other one, he always had them with him, if I'm not mistaken, like, even in the first game. And this one, it's very subdued, it looks very nice. And, like, oh, if only it w is it half-blind? Oh, nope, it's fully... De oh, wait, is he fighting something? Oh, he's fighting Tor... Oh, well, at least it's not Coco, otherwise the fans would be not approving. Who's gonna get the first bite? Is it an adult or juvenile? Oh, it's a tie. They clash. What's gonna happen? Now, they have no new animations, just to be clear. And unlike with, um, Giganotosaurus and other things, they do not have, like, um, variants and stuff. So, like... I'll show you in a minute what I mean. But this Allosaurus is awesome. Now, I have... S now, while he... Now, you may be wondering, does he have his, um, movie roars? The answer is, he, according to my knowledge, he does have one of his, um, growls, which is the one that he, um, displays in Dominion specifically. He does not have all of them, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame because, like, considering what they did with Giga, with, um, Dreadnoughtus, and even in Guanodon, actually, I... Notice, because I actually released a batch of them, like, um, if we go on the map. All these are the new Iguandon, which we'll showcase them in a little bit. But it's a shame that we don't have it for Allosaurus and Carnotaurus. Like, they still have just their regular evolution roars and not all their movie ones, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, are they going to have a little social chat? Wait, he's not bigger, is he? Okay, he's not taller. I, okay, I really would have wished that they shrunk him a little bit, like this juvenile, because he's supposed to be a juvenile, but he looks kind of bigger than this one, which, a little strange, not gonna lie, but I think, if I'm not, oh yep, there is one more that we have to showcase before we go on to the free update part, and that is is the Iguanodon. Oh yeah, and also Dimorphodon. And this is in the rain, which I forgot to turn it off, but whatever. Here is the new Iguanodon. And it even has its movie roars, which it's funny because in the movie, realistically, the only scene people remember seeing it in is in the prologue. And that's the only time it actually, like, you can hear it roar. But it actually shows up a few more times throughout the movie. It shows up in the Biosyn Dome twice, I think. You see it running past the Dreadnoughtus just before the T-Rex and, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, 
Giga, Giga, that's right. Before those two show up, we actually see him running with a Dreadnoughtus, and we even see him when the Locusts first break out and hit the Parasaurolophus, which is very interesting that, like, not many people talk about that. But, honestly, I, I personally really enjoy the original Guandon, but this- Oh, boy. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Is he gonna... Now, I know these guys can fight, and I saw that this Aguandon can actually fight T-Rex now. I didn't know if it could do that before, but it is interesting. Who is going to... Well, they're a little close for comfort. I don't think the Aguandon is too appreciative. Oh, they're glitching into each other. I think they're going to probably call it because, well, it's not lined up. Yep, there we go. So, I don't know, guys. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the um, other Aguandon, or do you prefer the... Um, Dominion version. I think I prefer the Dominion version because I think it's more subdued but still looking dangerous and intimidating like it's taller than Pretty much all the medium carnivores, but the other one I like him because he had like those Hulk arms basically like those things were beastly, but I still love this one I'll probably use both throughout um, my continued play. Oh look at that Carnotaurus and him being so wet. Oh, he's so good. How is there so much detail in this game? It's insane. But before we release these guys into the hell they will unleash, we have to show one more thing, actually. So one of the free update's biggest changes actually came from uh, the previous carnivores with movie skins. Because one of the things that um, people really wanted was to use those new models, but didn't want to just use the same skin color. Because some of them, like, not many people were fans of. Like, for example, some people wanted to change the Giganotosaurus' colors. And it has come true. Because if we look here, we have two Giganotosaurus'. And first, we will go into the hatchery to show an example. Let's say, um, where is it? Uh, Dribnatus, since he's right here. Now, Drenatus, normally you could only have the skin that you see on screen, or the previous evolution model, and that was it, like, it would be this. But, if you go here, now this is all, you can have either all of the, um, evolution Drenatus, or you can have the Dominion Drenatus, but you can have its, excuse me, its movie skin, or all of, the other colors from the original, which is insane. I love this. Now, I don't think I have one in the hatchery, so I probably will show it in, like, the species viewer for these guys, but it is awesome. And, like, also, you can even do random. So, like, you could have, um, it be either, well, since it's Dronatus, it's only going to be one. You could either, it could be a, um, Dominion one with random colors, or it could be a evolution version which is pretty awesome i will admit and also it's the same with the giganotosaurus and even with like camp cretaceous dinosaurs such as um where is it the uh where is a uh, oranosaurus if we go into the hatchery for it it has the same thing it's got the evolution variant and it's got the camp cretaceous variant and as you can see, it's also got its movie versions and stuff. And same with, um, Kentrosaurus and pretty much all of those, which is pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at them with the Giganotosaurus. I believe the first one is the movie variant. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at those colors. Do the roar, you beast. Oh, yeah. Now... I still love the movie variants, but from some of the colors I've seen, this guy is definitely going higher. Like, I love the Giga. I love its roars. It is a beast. But let's just take a look at another one, which I think this one is the... Yeah, this one is the movie variant. Like, just look at how different it looks, but still awesome. Yeah! <laughs> That thing is awesome! But like, uh, now it's gonna be total chaos. It's like, now the big boys are- Oh wait, we got another tussle? Oh, it's- Oh, it's- Oh no! It's the adults! They're having a tussle! Interesting, interesting! Now, I know what you're thinking. What else is there to do before we wrap up this video? Oh wait, they're going for it again? Oh, come on, man. 
Now, now, settle down. Well, we're gonna do one more thing, because apparently it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna just, um, you know, open the gate. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's a Guandon that's on the... Oh, no! No, I got it done, no! Oh, man. Now, also, one more thing. While these guys go on a rampage, Iguanodon, as you can see here, there are multiple other colors. I'll actually show it in the species viewer, but it has the same thing as, like, the Gigas and stuff. Hold on, I gotta go. Oh, wait, Carnotaurus and the Giga. Oh, it's Toro versus, oh, the new Giga. Oh, 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 what? Who's, it's a tussle, it's a tussle. Oh, Giga gets hit first. This is interesting. Who's gonna be out first? Who is, oh, it looks like it's the Dominion Giga. Oh, no. Okay, is anyone out? Anyone, come on, Atrociraptors, escape. Get out of here. Come on, don't be shy, come on, let them out, release them, kill everybody, please. Oh, wait, what? No! Wait, what? No, Coco, my boy! Hold on, we gotta release another one. We have to, we have no choice. Where is it? There it is. I think this is a whole, it's a five demon Carnotaurs, release the demons! Or the Cocos, it's the Coco gang, folks! We've got madness here, let them out! Yes, look at them. It Now you're all screwed. It's the Coco. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Which one is it? Oh, it's the Demin. Oh, look at all the people. They're like, he's like, yes, they are mine. And looks like his sibling is following him as well as an Allosaurus, his cousin, which actually is very ironic that they were having a little bit of a tuss. Which one is it? Is it the adults? Oh, yes, it is. It's a recreation of Molto with the adults. Now we just need one of the demon Carnotaurs. They just find that unlucky bastard who's on the scooter and kill him, and we'll be all good. But also, we need a trust. Oh, wait, a trust raptor's out. We. Now, I know these guys have an awesome animation set. We need to just follow one around. Follow the people. Uh, just, uh follow the screens. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Looks like we may. Oh. Oh, oh here we go. We get it. Yes. Oh, so, oh, look. Oh, oh, don't put that hand down, you idiot. No, oh my, oh my god, oh my, oh my god. Oh, sh damn, well, she's, bro oh my god, her leg's broken. <laughs> he just is like, I'm just gonna sit down, have a nice nap. Oh, looks like, oh no, oh no. Hey, get back out here, come on, damn it. Okay, so, we need to see that again, because like, she, like, did the Owen stance, but this isn't a Velociraptor deer. No, no, these are these savage Atrociraptors. Oh, no! Someone's dying! Oh, hold the phone! Oh, Coco! Man, damn! Coco's killed the Giganotosaurus. See, Rexy, you could have done it on your own. You didn't need that stupid big turkey with Freddy Krueger's claws. You could have done it yourself. Why didn't you? Here we've got an Allosaurus. I think that's the adult one still. Oh, he's coming to see the Pterosaurus. Which also, speaking of which, I actually need to release some. Because we actually have the Dimorphodons. Because there are the mini ones. Which we're going to just get a quick look at them quickly. But as you can see, they are bloody tiny. And also very, very frightening. As look at their little fuzzy backs. Oh, they're so cute and deadly. Which... Oh god, oh my god, that is so scary. He, look who's above him. Oh, hi, Ketza. He's like, oh my god, why am I in here with that thing? Uh, look at him. And I love how he flaps a lot more, so he's like, it's like how it's described. It does not have long flight terms, because he's constantly flapping. And also, oh my god, Jesus, Ketza's big. But yeah, there's him. Now let's um, find an Atrociraptor and uh, see him uh, kill people. Uh, okay, so, okay, so, oh, here we go. Let's get into capture mode. So, as you can see, the person does the hand tactic. Now, the Atrociraptors are very clever. You see him, like, he's recognizing the stance. He's circling around him. But just as he thinks it's safe, the Atrociraptor sneaks in a little bit closer, and he's like, oh shit, what am I doing? I'm not an expert. I love how it's the DFW. Dinosaur Protection Group. <laughs> it's like, we are here to protect the dinosaurs. And they're like, that's great. Now I'm going to make you my burger. So he grabs and he bites his hand, Vic Hoskins style, throws him to the ground, rips his head off, and I just lost sight of him. And Ghost goes away. Now, that is a clear representation. Oh, we're going to get it again, possibly? Oh, no. Oh, Red does it. Oh, there's Red. Oh, the attack. So Red, as you can see, they pretend to agree with the hand, but then bite it off and kill them, yes! Oh my god, that may be the best animation in the game. Is he going for someone else? 
Okay, where's the other? Oh wait, Ghost came back in here? What the hell, Ghost? Oh, looks like Go Red is running into the crowds. He's going for it. He's go Who's he gonna trample? Who's he gonna kill? Oh, oh, he got some. Oh, run. Oh, oh God, he's gonna hit me. Run. Oh, Alice. Oh, it's a bloody party in here. Oh, wait, what am I hitting? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. Damn foot. Oh, how's Coco doing? Coco. Oh, no, that's Toro. Where's the Cocos? Where's the Cocos? Coco Squad, where are you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, he kn she knows. She can smell the Rex, the prehistoric one. Let's just, you know, let's just let Rexy out. Let's have a bloody party. Let everyone out. Come on, open the gates. It's everyone's day. Come on, don't be shy. Let's just, uh, you know what? It's blood. Oh, hey, 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 Allo, get back out here. Come on, it's a bloody party, I said. Jesus Christ. Ay, ay, ay. Where's the other Atrociraptors? Because I want to see one more kill from them, and then we'll probably call it for the day, unless something else happens. Oh, wait, Carnotauruses are going for the run. It's Coco. Oh, he bites him, swallows him whole. Coco has managed to kill. Also, you know what's kind of funny? Throughout the whole moving Dominion, I think Allosaurus actually got the most kills because it killed all the people in the multi se sequence. Because, like, Carnotaurus actually didn't kill anyone. Like, because... Yeah, because the first person that's killed is... Especially if you look in the extended, is the guy the Allosaurus throws into the Carnotaurus. Then, like, Carnotaurus roars to the guy who runs in the fire. And then the guy who tries to help... Um, that guy. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, like, Allosaurus kills everyone in Malta. Oh, it's Panther. Oh, it's, no, it's Tiger. Oh, bites him in the hand. Ouch. Oh, the poor lady. She tried the Owen technique, but even Owen was not able to handle the Atrociraptors with the hand. It did not work. They had to put it in a cage. Now, is there any other Atrociraptors out? I want to see one more time a death from an Atrociraptor. Oh, come on, Red. You're not allowed to sleep on the job. Oh, wait, is... Oh, the Iguanodons are all coming out. They're like, hey, we're on holiday, boys. What's up? Hey, 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 hey. hey go on, get out of here. You gotta go and eat. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry, uh, Tiger. There's no more food. But you, you can try again later. Okay, is Ghost still here? Ghost is still there. Oh, you're going for someone. You, I can s sense it. Oh, no. Oh, he's, I think he, w he can sense them, but because this is a nice barrier. Oh, wait, they're scared of something. Is there something already here? They can't sense them here. Oh, it's because all the Iguandons are still here. Right, I forgot. My bad. Let's take a look. Oh, we've got a red leading this pack. Oh, and we got a panth- Oh, no, it's a tiger. Sorry. Yeah, those two I mix up a little bit quick because, like, their heads are very sim- Oh, we got another red. Oh, there's two red- We've got three reds, and we've got two tigers. Let's take- Oh, are they gonna pack hunt something? Like, are they just gonna come out here and be like, Uh, I'm on holiday, boys. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's an atro- Oh, the Atrociraptors are going for Toro, it seems! Oh, ghost and- Oh, look at this one! It's like a ghost with spot- New spots, look at it, impressive! Oh, are they gonna- Are they gonna kill this Coco? No, Co- Not Coco, Toro! Oh, he bites him on the head while he's down! Is he able to get back up? I don't know! Oh... Oh, he throws him! Oh, oh, and he falls down. Is he okay? He is okay with full health! He is unstoppable, inconceivable, retributionable. That last one might not be a word, so sue me. Okay, guys, that is going to have to wrap up the video. We've got Coco going on a rampage, and oh, he kicks someone down. And he's gonna, oh, I think he's going back in. Oh, for gosh sakes, guys, get back outside. Um, you know, let's also, let's release some everything. Like, come on, don't be shy. Oh, it's another Carnotaurus attack. Ooh, Tiger. And, uh, oh, it's a different one. Oh, red, too. Oh, come on, Coco, you can get them. Oh, they're going for him just even when he's down. This is unfair. This is uncalled for. Let's just release everything. Let's get some Gallimimus. Come on, just for a finale of 
insanity. Let's release Blue, there is Xenosaurus, a T-Rex, Indoraptor, Indominus, it's madness, and even, of course, a Dilophosaurus. Let's see if anything interesting happens just at the brink of it. It's madness. I've gone insane, guys. It's been so long since I've recorded, and man, we're only at half a star. I don't know why. You're just getting eaten. You're get you That's the... That's the true experience! You get to just witness- Oh, one more time, perhaps? Bites him! Oh, look at- Oh, look at- It's some sort of dance! Look at him! It's such- Such gracefulness! As they just rip each other apart! Or at least, um, Tiger, you know, does. It's- it, it, I've never seen such a beautiful dance! Uh, I, it, it breaks my heart! And how's it going in here? Hello, Therizinosaurus! Now, unfortunately, we still do not have a blind variant of the Therizinosaurus, but who knows, maybe if we demand it enough, we'll get the blind Therizinosaurus too. Oh, who are you going for? You're- Oh, he's- He roared at someone. Someone is possibly gonna line up this- This nightmare. And guys, of all the Dominion Dinosaurs, which ones are your top three? Like, I just want to know, who do you love? Oh, is this Blue? Yes, Blue is here! And she is right beside Red, which... Oh my god, it would have been so interesting if they had a fought, because, well, Blue and... Oh, Blue is sizing up an Atrociraptor. Are they gonna fight? Who is really better? And it's not one of the movie Atrociraptors, so there's no bias here. It is a, um, special, um, s unique skin from Evolution itself, which honestly looks rad as hell, not gonna lie. And who's gonna get the first strike? Oh, it's a draw! They both fight. Both are getting a little bit bloody. Oh, Blue gets the first hit on this Atrociraptor. Is it- does it mean that Velociraptor's better? I think, realistically, Atrociraptor is more built like a dog, whereas- a Oh! The Atrociraptor wins! Oh, Blue still got, like, the, um single strike, but it, she lost, and she is quite bloody. She's like, oh, man. Oh, oh Indoraptor! Jesus, right, I forgot. Oh, this is madness in here. Who, uh, it, oh, and of course, we have Rexy here. It is insane. We've got the goddess herself. It is madness. But, guys, I think if we just find an Atrociraptor... No, I want a movie one. I want a movie one. I want a movie one to stay on. Someone who is preferably going on the hunt. So guys, I think this is going to wrap up this video. I am going to play the campaign soon, but I still have one more week of school left until this semester is concluded. So probably it might be next weekend where I like fully get into it because I still got to edit this. Plus I'm doing Christmas stuff right after I record this. It has been insane. This is the like, it is insane how long it has been since I've recorded one of these. I am glad to be back, and hopefully, with the fact that I've been able to set up live streaming to the best of my abilities, hopefully we'll be able to build more parks, do insane stuff, and of course, battle royales will be coming. It will be insane. And guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like if you haven't already, and I would appreciate the subscribe if you haven't, as we are just... At at 3,500, and it looks like, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, looks like um, we might get one more death from a new Atrociraptor. Let's see it just before we go. Oh, just a little technique of a slide. Pretends to be friends, but then, surprise, you're dead. In the graceful dance of death, this Atrociraptor has successfully killed its lady. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Let's see, will, um, oh, it's red this time. Oh, will Red kill- oh wait, oh it's Indoraptor and Allosaurus. Will Blue die? Before we go, will this- who will win? Oh, Red, it's a good thing Red was not part of the Velociraptor pack as it was meant to be. And guys, if you've enjoyed this video with the insanity reach to 9,000, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Let me know what you want to see in the future, and until next time guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.